Let's pray. O Lord, O Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. O the depths of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are your judgments and your ways past finding out. Precious, loving Heavenly Father, beneath our bowed heads are contrite, humble and grateful hearts. We thank you so much for the precious gift of eternal life through your Son and our Savior, the Lord Jesus. And we come again only in his name and his name alone, the name which is above every other and on the merit of what he has done for us through his obedience even to death at Calvary. Lord, we thank you too for the assurance of your presence with us in the person of the blessed Holy Spirit. And oh, how we need him to help us in these quiet periods of intercession. Lord, we remember each family represented in worship today and throughout our country. We are acutely aware that the family is under attack by the vices and deception of the enemy of our souls. So often we hear, if not experience, the discords and breakdown in family relationships, misunderstandings, incidents of domestic violence and abuse of all types. And so we ask that you will restore harmony in our homes, heal those impaired situations, ease the stress and tension in the homes across this land, provide for the needs, strengthen, Lord, and protect our families, we pray. And for, our, for Lord, we know that as the family goes, so does the nation. We praise you for this, our local fellowship, and ask that you will embolden our witness to a watching world as they observe our unity, our fidelity, and deep bonds of love, care, and concern for others. Bless the various ministries and all those who continue to so faithfully and selflessly labor, ministering their gifts to enrich and edify our worship experience. We especially thank you for the different age groups within the church and the aid and blessing we receive as we listen and tell of your help in ages past and bear testimony of the hope we have in you for time and for eternity. Grant courage and conviction to our young people May the mind of Christ and his servant spirit and his humility be embedded in them as a mantle of leadership in our churches and society is passed from one generation to the next. Help them to navigate their youthful ambitions wisely and well during the ever-changing seasons of their lives. Indeed, your word reminds us, Lord, that your loving kindness is shown to a thousand generations, to those who love and serve you. We pray for those who are shut in and those who are not well, some at home and others in the hospital, that you would bring healing and restoration. Thank you for taking our sister Shirley Richards successfully through surgery. We ask that you will grant her a full and speedy recovery. Help Elder Lindley and his family as they stand by their dear sister during this period of convalescence. Remember Sister Cheryl's mom, Brenda, in the hospital in Mandeville. Lord, we ask that you would give wisdom to the doctors as they attend to her medical needs. Remember those who are grieving the loss of loved ones. Brother Robert Smith, former deacon of this church, who recently lost his wife, Beverly. 
we pray that you would comfort that family and that all will go well as they make final preparations for the Thanksgiving service. We especially thank you for our denomination and for the successful leadership conference held yesterday. Oh, we praise you for the wealth of information that was shared and ask for your continued guidance in all aspects of our ministry. Then, Lord, we again lift up our country's affairs and our leaders at all levels. We ask that you would do for them as you did for Solomon. Grant wisdom to our leaders, Lord, those in government and those in opposition alike those in the private and the public sector, those in church and in homes. Give them your true wisdom as they labor in the service of our country. We thank you for the good measure of recovery from the effects of the hurricane as roofs are being restored, children are back in school, and our farmers are again in the fields. Grant to our people that unique spirit of discernment and sobriety and spare us Lord from a maligning tongue and an ungrateful heart we'll not forget to thank you for the sacrificial service and sterling contribution of the finance minister Dr. Nigel Clark who was brought into the political life of our country at such a time as he was and as he prepares to leave our shores, we commend him to your continued providential care. Bless him in his new undertakings and grant him good health, strength and success as he humbly serve in this new role. Cover his dear family and guide them in all their decisions and guard them in their travels. Lord, you see the scourge of crime and violence and the indiscipline that continue to vex our country. Double murder in Hanover, two more murders in St. Elizabeth, pedestrian killed down. Oh God, when will it end? We pray that you will intervene and arrest the breakdown of law and order. Then we come on behalf of the suffering people of our world, the millions in the U.S. who are presently dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. Tornadoes, flooding, fires, the many families that are grieving the loss of loved ones who perish in the hurricane. Not known to us, Lord, but well known to you. We pray that you will bring relief and comfort during these difficult days. We thank you for the ministry of the Red Cross, the Salvation Armies, and institutions like those who are responding. We remember that family of the respondent who died while trying to save someone else. Remember, too, the unimaginable human pain and suffering of soldiers and civilians alike as a result of the ongoing wars, the heated political climate as the election draws near in the U.S. and even here in our own country, the ongoing unrest in Haiti, the pressing material needs of the Cuban people and those in Malawi. We thank you for the measure of help garnered and sent, and we pray that you will continue to supply the needed resources. Bless Pastor Malunga, as he serves in the missionary church in Malawi. Thank you for Elder John, as he continues to labor tirelessly on the mission field. We ask that you will grant journeying mercies to him and Sister Denise, and indeed to the over 5,000 and odd who were gathered at Lausanne recently. Grant them journeying mercies as they travel back. O oh Lord, we remember our pastor today as he ministers out there in Spanish town at uh, Hampton Green, Lord. We remember too our own Reverend Smelly who will come. We pray that as your word is faithfully proclaimed, that you will grant a mighty movement of your spirit among us. 
give clarity and attend it with the transforming power of your spirit. Anoint your servant, Lord, as he speaks from a heart of conviction and love. Cause that we will all then be attentive to your word, sensitive to your spirit, and receptive to your great love, so freely offered to us in the person of your Son and our precious Savior, the Lord Jesus. For it is in his name, his name alone, Lord, that we pray, giving thanks. Amen.